Hello everyone. This is by far my most favorite video to make every year. And this year marks the fifth anniversary of our Nordstrom anniversary sale walkthrough together. I checked, my very first video went up in 2015. And back then I was the first person on YouTube to do a Nordstrom anniversary catalog walkthrough where we would take the catalog and go through the pages and mark we, because I feel like we were doing it together. Um, what we wanted to get, what we didn't want to get, and so forth. Well, things have changed, things have evolved, and 2020 is a different year, obviously, for many reasons. One, and the biggest reason, is that this year, for the first time, Nordstrom did not put out a printed catalog. I have to say, I like this so much better. On July 24th, they released the full sale inventory online. The access for when to shop is a little bit different this year. As always, those of you who have a Nordstrom credit card or a Nordstrom retail card, which is like an in-store only credit card, do get the early access before the general public. It is not too late to go apply for either of their options for credit cards. And I'm not a big fan of having multiple credit cards. I'm, I'm really not. But in this case, um, as long as you have set your budget and you stick to that budget, I think it is definitely worth it just to get that early access. If you sign up for the Nordstrom card, you will get $60 in notes, which is essentially a $60 gift card that you can spend at a later time. So that's all good. But like I said, I highly recommend only getting it if you can stick to that budget. No card or card, everyone shopping the sale should have in their head an exact amount that they are just not going to go past that amount. I do that every year. As soon as the sale ends, I set my budget for the following year and I start setting aside for that. I'm a bit of a planner. All right, let's get into the dates and I'll put this all in a blog post and down in the description box so that you can refer to it at your leisure. So early access, this is for the card holders. The highest level is called the icon level. It used to be level four. They get first dibs and they start shopping August 4th. They can shop in store and online. Those that are the old level three, which are now ambassadors, I am an ambassador, okay? We get to start shopping August 7th. Then the next tier, which would have been level two, um, they, they phased out the numbers and gave it all names, um, is influencer, and that starts August 10th. Then insiders shop August 13th, and the sale opens to everybody on August 19th and ends on August 30th. Now, every year you hear the same thing. You have to shop as soon as you can, buy everything that you think you want in multiple sizes because they will sell out and they won't restock. I've been hearing this from insiders who actually have the good information that this year is very different because of the pandemic, because of supply chain issues and just being a little bit smarter about things. Nordstrom did not order a ton of stock. If you've already been looking at the catalog online, um, you will see there are far less items in the sale. For instance, beauty only has, I think it's 230 items in the whole beauty department. That sounds like a lot, but it really isn't. It used to be pages and pages and pages, and now it's maybe four pages. I personally have no problem with that. I kind of like it. I find the Nordstrom anniversary sale is kind of overwhelming with there's just so much. I feel like they've pared it down to a manageable size of items you really want and less Fluff. This video is going to be different than the first four years because there is no catalog to go through and to sit and watch me go through tens of website pages, it's it's like, it's terrible. So I've done things a little differently, but before I get into all of my recommendations, a couple of areas that I'm probably going to skip personally, not saying you shouldn't shop them, I'm just saying it's not for me, fitness or activewear. There are some great things. Um, I do like the Zella uh, leggings for everyday wear, but not for working out. For actual workout stuff, I still find that the quality of Walmart and what I can find on Amazon at full price are, to me, just as good, if not better, than what I'm seeing at Nordstrom on sale. That being said, I haven't really purchased any of their actual workout items before. I'm new to working out. So I may dip into a couple of things just to test it out. I might as well get it on sale. But honestly, I feel like you can get a lot more for your money at Walmart and Amazon in active wear. The other area, again, I'm not really shopping, or I shouldn't say I'm not, but my family isn't really interested, is the men's section. Again, for day-to-day -day stuff, the men in my family prefer Amazon. Uh, there are a handful of like Patagonia and North Face things, but I'm kind of thinking I'm gonna wait until closer to cool weather and see if 
those prices are still there or if they even come down a little bit more. It does say at the very top of the anniversary sale page on the Nordstrom website that they are planning on adding items daily. So please make sure that you check my actual blog, missgoldgirl.com, where I have every single category broken down with its own page and own set of recommendations. And I'll be adding and refreshing that as more things become available. And if you want the latest, most up-to-the-date info, preceding the sale and during the sale, definitely follow me on Instagram where I'll be posting someone on my feed, but mostly over on stories because I can just get that up so quickly and much faster to my audience there. So a video series that I've been really enjoying the last year or so is looking back at the best sellers that y'all picked from the previous month. And I thought I would do the same thing for the anniversary sale to give you an idea of what y'all have enjoyed, what's been the most popular items, and then let you know if any of those are still in the sale or if they're not, then what I would recommend in its place. So I have the top 10. The number one item bestseller hands down from the anniversary sale in 2019 was the Caslon Double V Pullover. I have it in the black and white stripe. There is nothing like that in the sale this year at all. There is a similar print, and I think I actually like this a little bit better. I think it's a little more versatile. It's still from Caslon. It's a dolman sleeve thermal top that comes in many of the same colors that the Double V Pullover had last year. Same price point, I think. So that's what I would recommend checking out if you really enjoyed the pullover from last year. Number two favorite from 2019 was this top. This is the BP Cozy Top. There's a matching pair of jogger pants that go with it. And I'm happy to report that it is back in the sale in all new prints. They've added at least one really pretty tie-dye print. It is sitting in my wish list right now. So if you really liked this and you wanna add more to your collection or you missed it the first time around, you are in luck. It is back. And I should say that I pulled my audience over on Instagram and asked what categories are you most interested in shopping this year? Hands down, number one, like three times more than any other category was shoes, boots, and booties. But really close was basics and loungewear, and this ticks both of those boxes. The number three most popular item from 2019 was the Kennebunk Bliss Plush Throw. Well, it's, it is and it isn't. The good news is it's back in the sale with every single color you can imagine and they've dropped Kennebunk from the name. So I don't have to struggle through that every time I say it. It's just the Bliss Plush Throw. It's under $25, and again, if this is the thing to stock up on. I have heard from so many of you who have just raved about how much you love it. I think we have seven in my family now. I always have a few in just general neutral colors and a gift closet. They make amazing gifts. You can take them to be monogrammed. Usually Nordstrom offers free monogramming during the holidays, so check that out, but anyway. It's back. The next most popular item was the, oh gosh, who made it? I don't even remember who made it. It was that faux suede trench coat in leopard print. Now, the big thing for this year is a faux patent leather trench coat. If you love it, great, get it. There's many options, very budget friendly. I will be passing on the patent leather trench coat trend. A huge favorite, number five from 2019, was the Wubby Fleece Pullover. It's really called the Wubby Fleece. And I am happy to tell you, not only is it back, it's new and improved. So on a couple of the options, it's the solid color. On the um, kangaroo type pockets, they have a little bit of leopard trim, which I think is adorable. They also offer it in some color block options. So I love that they bring back and then improve year after year. The sixth most popular item was the Caslon Metallic Stitch Utility Jacket. I'm still kind of regretting I didn't buy it back then. I know I have a closet full of utility jackets. I just find them to be not just a great jacket to wear, especially where I live where it doesn't get too terribly cold, but it's kind of like a nice fashion layering piece. It, it kind of makes the outfit all by itself. Well, this year Caslon is offering a new version. It is, there's two colors of the utility jacket, but new this year is a um, removable like sweatshirt material contrasting hood, which I think looks really cute. So you can dress it up or dress it down, just take the hood off. The number seven most popular item was the Thread and Supply fleece line utility jacket. This is one of the pieces I'm most excited about this year. They've improved on it. I like the one I have, but I felt like it hit me at a place that maybe looked a little boxy. Well, they made it longer in length and reversible. So one side is olive green, one side is black. It's two jackets for the price of one, and I think it's still the same price or lower than it was last year. So that's already sitting on my wish list. And then another favorite was the cozy twist front top from Gibson. I have two or three of them, and I'll be adding another one. It is back in the sale. It is just one of those 
perfect loungewear pieces, but it's nice enough you could wear it to work or work from home. It's just one of those things you need to have in your closet. And if you don't, it's back for 2020. Number nine last year was the Caslon color block sweater. And there is nothing like that in the sale. I looked for just color block sweater that was where the sleeves were one color and the body was another. Nothing like it. Caslon does offer some really cute sweaters this year, but nothing quite like that one. And then the last most popular item from 2019 was a leopard print, big leopard print scarf. It's not anywhere in the sale. There is a big leopard print throw, uh, the very popular Barefoot Dreams throw. That's in the sale again, as well as some new prints that I'm really excited about for that throw blanket. So. There's some really great new stuff from Barefoot Dreams we're gonna talk about in a minute. There are a few items that were popular last year that have some honorable mentions, but this video is already gonna be 45 minutes long, I have a feeling, so I'll just put them down in the description box along with the 2020 recommendations. All right, I am going to very quickly run through my top 10 must-haves. These are all sitting um, in my wish list, and I'm just waiting to hit buy. Number one, the Barefoot Dreams Leopard Cardigan. New this year, they have come out with that super soft cardigan. It's more of a straight cut in three different shades of leopard print, like the true leopard print, and then like some more muted options sitting in my cart. Cannot wait. The second thing I'm most excited about, and I hate to share all this, because if y'all are icons, you're gonna buy it all up before I get there, but oh well. If you're happy, that makes me happy. It's also from Barefoot Dreams. It's the Namaste Lounge Set. If I want the one that's sort of like a blue-gray shade, it looks like a modal jersey fabric. It's not like a, like a cardigan fabric. I cannot wait to wear it. I cannot wait to own it. I am so excited. Okay, number three is a blazer. I highly recommend picking up a blazer. They're really on trend this year. And if you are working from home and you have to hop on a video call, just throw a blazer over whatever you have on. I could throw the white Gibson blazer over this and it'll look like I'm put together. So speaking of the white Gibson blazer, of the two blazers I recommend, the Gibson blazer is in the sale in all the colors. I have black and the hot pink sitting in my cart right now. The other blazer that I love is from a brand, it's new to me, called Blank Noir, and it is a moto jacket blazer. It has faux leather sleeves and then like a cloth material of the body and then it has a hood. I just, I think it's so cool and so edgy. Definitely not for work from home or for work unless you work in a really cool place, but I highly recommend both of those blazers. Another recommendation is a nice dress, a pretty dress. You never know. Hopefully we'll get to wear it, knock on wood, soon. But uh, a dress brand that I have never seen before that I saw all over the catalog, I'm just gonna call it the catalog, it's, it's habit, is a brand called Julia Jordan. And there were a few dresses sitting in my wish list already. I've narrowed it down to the one you're seeing on the screen now. I feel like it's a very versatile piece. It's short sleeve, I could wear now. I could throw a blazer over it. I could throw a cardigan over it, boots, booties, whatever. I think it's so pretty and fun and it's not too, too dressy. You know, it, it, you can wear it to a variety of things. And it's, it's just nice to have that go-to fun dress in your closet for when that impromptu event pops up. All right, let's talk shoes. There are a lot of shoes that I would love to recommend, but I'm trying to narrow it down to a few. So the loafer trend is back. A loafer mule is even more in um, trend right now. And the one that I am eyeing is by Steve Madden. It is a pointed, t there's a few. It's a pointed toe loafer with a mule and it has a chain detail across the top of the shoe. It's beautiful, it's classic, and because it's a mule, you can wear it even when it's super hot, like right now. Also, still in the shoe, it's a booty, but it's kind of a sandal. Every year Vince Camuto comes out with some sort of open toe booty. It never disappoints. I buy one every year, whatever he comes out with. And this year is no disappointment. That is a must have for sure. I also recommend a great pair of boots and a classic riding boot. You will not be disappointed, especially at this price. And as I'm getting older, I'm appreciating a comfortable shoe. Well, Naturalizer came out for this fall with a riding boot type shoe. Comes in a lot of different colors and suede, leather, what have you. Nice. Decent heel, looks super comfortable, highly recommend it. So that is one of my must-haves as well. Like I mentioned earlier, one of the categories you're most interested in were basic tops or tops for work from home. And the one top that I'm going to recommend over all of the others, there are the basics that are always in the sale, like the Caslon rounded V-neck tee and the Caslon crew neck. But this one is from One State and it's like a faux, you'll see the picture, it's a faux drapey option. And you can tuck it into a pair of work pants or a 
like a pencil skirt and look really dressy. You could throw it on over jeans. You could be wearing it with your pajama pants and look put together on a video call. It comes in a lot of great neutral options. There's a camel color I'm really interested in. I might also pick it up in black. I do not think you'll be disappointed. Definitely something to put in your cart. And then the last item that I'm going to recommend because these are just fabulous and I am probably gonna pick up the one pair I don't have is the Nordstrom, let's just call them faux diamond studs. They're what I have on now. You see me wear these all the time. These are in the sale, but they also have the emerald cut, more of the square version, a little less sparkly. They are at a great price point and definitely a must have if you're shopping the sale. All right, let's go through the three top categories that you're most interested in. I have five picks, let's just run through them. Number one were shoes. So the Vince Camuto Gradina Black Heel Booty. Like always, there are a ton of options in colors. I think it's a good heel, but it's not crazy too high. It is great with every kind of, you know, jeans, pants, leggings, what have you, just a staple to have in your closet. Number two is the soft, let me get this right, Gwyneth Waterproof Booty, all in black. I am always looking for a black booty, but inevitably the shoe itself is black, the heel is, you know, some kind of wooden-like material. This is the only one I've seen that's all black, it's waterproof, and it's made by soft, which means it's going to be super comfortable to walk around. This is something you can wear while doing sightseeing, walking around in the rain, what have you. Definitely a must have. Number three is that Naturalizer Sterling Knee Boot that I recommended just a minute ago. Number four, I love a pair of slip-on sneakers and these by Cole Haan look fabulous. I love, it almost looks like a faux crocodile kind of leather, so I love the texture on it. You know they're gonna be comfortable. Great quality shoe, really good price point for the sale. And then the last one is one I already mentioned is the Steve Madden chain pointed toe mule. Definitely all faves. There's lots more that will be on my shoe blog post, but those are the top five. Now on to tops. What I was thinking of with this is most of us are going to be either working from home, at home, or in a more casual work environment. So it's work on top and lounge around the bottom. So that in mind, so number one is the Gibson Cozy V-neck tunic. Not the twist top, but the tunic comes in a variety of colors. Again, it's just great loungewear, but you can dress it up by adding layers, accessories, what have you, and then when you're done with working and trying to look decent for whomever's looking at you, you can take all that off and just lounge around in your house. Number two, also from Gibson, is the cozy twist front top, same concept. It is a very flattering shape, that twist right there at like the um, top of your pants, a little below the top of your pants, gives you almost that knotted, drapey effect without having to do anything, but the back of the top covers your rear end, so it's win-win. It's of course, a basic top that everyone should have in several colors is the Caslon Crew Neck Long Sleeve Tee. I have I don't even know how many I have. They're really versatile, they're great for layering. Again, you can wear them just under a sweater for warmth, you can wear them all by themselves, different patterns. My favorite pattern, which is white with thin um, black or it might be navy blue stripes, is back in the sale. Definitely something to have in your closet. Number four, it's more of a pretty blouse. So this is also from Castline. I'm a huge fan of the Nordstrom house brands and I feel like you get the most bang for your buck, which is why I tend to recommend those the most. It is the Pin Tuck Lace Detail Long Sleeve Cotton Blouse, as usual. It comes in a few colors. It's cotton, so it's more comfortable. The lace detailing is pretty, but you can still wear a normal bra underneath it. It just takes a lot of boxes. I think it's a nice basic top at a really good price point. And then the last top that I'm gonna recommend is from All In Favor. It is also a twist front top. I just feel like it is the most flattering silhouette. Again, it comes in a variety of colors, but the one that's sitting in my wish list is sort of a softer red. It's just very feminine and very pretty and a very versatile top. You can wear it with jeans, joggers, nice pair of slacks, um, pencil skirt. It just is very versatile and it's under $30 in the sale. The next most popular category was beauty of all things. I was kind of surprised. I didn't think people want to be wearing makeup right now. I mean, I like it. To me, it's sort of like a therapy to put it all on. It's sort of, I don't know, like an arts and crafts project or something. But my top recommendations from beauty and there's only 230 items in there so not all not as much to choose from as what we're used to number one it was a huge seller last year and i think sold out almost immediately was the charlotte tilbury pillow talk lip set i have mine here i'm wearing it right now actually 
Do not regret owning this, absolutely love it. This year it appears to be exactly the same thing, so grab it, it does sell out. It's just such a flattering lip shade on pretty much everybody. The next recommendation for beauty is the Olaplex, what are they calling this? The Jumbo Bond Maintenance System Set. I'm recommending this because I recently switched hair salons and hairdressers and they use Olaplex at that salon and my hairdresser has been uh, using it on my hair and I can definitely tell a difference. It's softer, the color holds, but I just, I'm impressed with it. And this one comes with number three, number four, and number five. So number three is, I don't know what it is, it's a hair perfecter. And then number four is the shampoo, number five is the conditioner. So really great option. Number three, I have recommended this every year. Never bought it, this year I'm pulling the trigger. It's the New Lash Growth Serum set. It's two for $95, which apparently is a really good deal and I am finally gonna pull the trigger. It is sitting in my wish list. Next recommendation from Beauty is the Laura Mercier Caviar Eye Stick Trio. The shades they're offering, let me read them, are Rose Gold, Amethyst, and Eau Naturelle, which is like a pink gray. I'm wearing Rose Gold right here. If you haven't tried the Caviar Eye Sticks yet, they are the easiest and prettiest eyeshadow stick on the market, love them. And then the last recommendation I'm really excited about, I don't own it, it's sitting on my wish list. I will be owning it. It's a little pricey for what it is, but this brand is pricey, so if I can snatch it up on a discount, that's what I'm gonna do. It's from Le Labo, I think is how you pronounce it, and it's the Suntal 26 set of votives. So it's three votives in their Suntal 26 signature scent, which everyone describes as smelling like a rich person's house. Who doesn't want their house to smell like a rich person's house? I do. The scent actually from the description, let me get you the description. Okay, I'm reading off the site. It's described as a warm and sophisticated scent and the notes are violet, cardamom, iris, ambrox, Australian sandalwood, and cedarwood. Right up my alley, just a little trivial knowledge here. The candles are hand poured in Mississippi. So I don't know, that personally makes me happy. If you don't know, uh, I have one son still attending the University of Mississippi Ole Miss and the other one just graduated from there. So I have a little, little place in my heart for the state of Mississippi. Okay, that's it. Those are the original, the first set of recommendations. There's so much more. Like I said, I have divided them all out just so you know what all the categories are and there will be blog posts out for every single category and I promise I won't overwhelm you with them all, but I have accessories which includes all jewelry, sunglasses, accessories. I have 17 so far in there. Activewear, just five things to recommend. Beauty. Then I have cardigans slash blazers in one category. Coats, outerwear jackets in another. Denim, pants, joggers, leggings is one category. Handbags, home items, um, intimate slash sleepwear. Loungewear it has some overlap in other categories, but I put all the what I consider loungewear in one. Shoes. Skirts, dresses, jumpsuits is one, sweaters, and then tops. So hopefully by now I've piqued your interest a little bit. Let me know what jumped out at you. As always, I'm here for you. If you have any questions, you can always ask them in the comments below. Send me a DM through Instagram. That's the easiest way to get a hold of me. In any case, I'm so excited you are here with me for my fifth annual walkthrough. I cannot wait to start shopping and show you a haul or two. We'll see how it goes. Until then, be well. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.